Hello everyone, Mighty Benaya back with a new mechanics game, and this will probably be my last um, upload for this uh, particular game because I didn't have a lot of response on people wanting to continue to see it, but I wanted to also finish it out and post a couple of thoughts. So the first big thought is, uh, the, first, the first caveat I want to say is, uh, Romania made some significant mistakes in this game, and so I have profited greatly from it, um, and you won't always see that in your games. However, um, because of the build order, which is what we're analyzing, um, I was able to maintain 105 units at this point. Um, three of those are cavalry, two of those are balloons, two of those are armored cars, but I think it's important um, especially within the first five to ten days of the game, um, and right now we are in day four, to maintain um, what your starting army, what the army you started off with. So in this game, I started off with 100, and I'm currently at 105. That's really, really good for having taken as many provinces as I have. Um, so let's look at real quick what the score is. Now I am in a coalition, but I have 160 points right now, which gives you a relative understanding of power. I have more points by myself than the second coalition. Um, so that gives you an idea of, obviously, again, the caveat being that um, I profited from Romania's issues, um, but it gives you an understanding of the power of this build order. The other thing that I want to point out that I don't think that I mentioned earlier is the importance of the armored cars. So again, I've got AIs around me, so this is um, in an, an extreme example, but you can have five troops in each of these provinces and not need to build forts because you can see when the enemy's coming for you, you can see when they're gathering forces, and you can move your armored cars to defend so they are like mobile forts. You can also use uh, armored cars, as I had done in this game, to quickly capture all of the empty provinces before taking the capital so that your morale is significantly higher. So let's see the morale. See, um, so this province was the capital. Its morale is lower than all of the others because I captured all of the others first, and then I finished off the capital, which actually eliminated some of his remaining units. Uh, a large portion of his army was... Um, not in any of his provinces, and when I captured the last province, it eliminated all of the other units. Um, so we're going to show relations? Nope. This one. Um, so that gives you an idea of how to start the game. So as a recap, um, the first thing that you want to do, you want to, within the first couple of days, um, you're going to want to, to take out an AI capital. Um, all you need to take is the capital. And it's even better if you can find a, an AI that is only one province, and that is their capital. Because you can kill them quick, and that will boost the morale in all of your provinces. In specifically your doubles, but also anything that you're struggling with, you want to build uh, workshops. And you want to build at least three level two workshops. And you want to start building balloons in those workshops. You want to queue up after the workshops, you want to queue up barracks. Um, I would say two barracks if you're struggling on food and you can get food, um, three barracks if you are fine on food for now, um, and then maybe one barracks if you don't anticipate being able to get food in the near future. And then queue up in those barracks, uh, immediately queue up cavalry. Um, so that whenever the barracks completes and whenever the balloons complete, then you have um, immediately starting to produce cavalry. Wherever you're not building cavalry, build, uh, instead of balloons, build armored cars so that you can do this, um, this mobile fort move. That will enable you to have a large army and enable you to produce um, more, uh, more units in the early game. Um, and it will catapult you forward um, as you play your games. I hope this has been helpful. Um, I look forward to any suggestions. Again, this is for zero gold marks. So if you have suggestions for um, you know, a low gold mark or even a high gold mark um, strategy, um, please let me know. Soli Deo Gloria, and I will see you next time.